Thank you so much for joining me. I'm T Pain, and welcome to another Let's Learn Python. So feel free to click on the right side to use the skip ahead feature to jump to a specific section um, or the examples that you'd like to uh, learn. We're going to be using uh, Python 2.7.4 in this exercise. Um, you can download it from uh, python.org uh, slash get it. This will build heavily on the past lessons, so feel free to go back and watch those again if anything is unclear. So let's go ahead and get started and open up idle. So let's say we had a script that required user input, but we only wanted the user to input integer values. What would happen is if the user input strings or words, the code could break. So how do we handle that is with exception handling. And this is a way of handling any kind of code that could possibly break your script or files. All right, so the, the keywords that we're going to learn about are try and accept. And try is basically try to do something. And accept is like, all right, if something is illegal, do this instead. And so let's try an example of something that would break our code. So let's type in x equals 5 plus quotation marks ham in quotation marks enter. And now you'll see this traceback error call. Um, and it says type error, you can't add strings and ints together, um, which makes perfect sense. So we're going to try our new exception handling. And so type in try colon enter and then type in x equals five plus ham again and uh, type in enter delete press backspace to uh, jump back uh, tab space and type in accept colon enter print darn it because we knew it wouldn't work enter enter and now it prints it without any error being popped up or interrupting our code. So this is extremely useful if you're um, writing scripts and uh, uh, you want to catch anything that could possibly break your code and spit out um, any message for the user or for uh, debugging. So another keyword that can be used with the try and accept is uh, the keyword pass. And pass is basically a way of not having anything happen in here. You don't have to print space or print anything. It's just a way of saying, hey, just ignore this. So we're going to type in uh, try colon um, x equals 5 plus ham again, because 5 and ham don't add up, backspace, except colon pass, enter, enter. And now look at what happens. It's just using it to pass on to say hey just move on past this whatever so pass is a way of saying hey ignore whatever came through and just move on okay so another important keyword to know about is the raise keyword which can be used to force a specific error or exception to be called so we're going to type in a quick example of it just typing raise space type error and then open parentheses and just type ha 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 <laughs> close parentheses in quotes enter and what happens is we're spit um, we're returned an actual error uh, and it says trace back blah 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 raise type error and then here is the actual error and it's the type error and the text is ha 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 ha, ha that we actually pressed in cool Note that there are many other exceptions or errors that can be raised. There's the zero division error, the name error, the type error, and many, many more. So for more information, please look up uh, Python uh, the documentation on Python's website. All right, so the last uh, exception keyword we're going to go over is called finally. And finally always happens at the end of the steps before the real errors are returned. So let's go ahead and punch in try colon enter x equals 5 plus ham enter backspace accept and then type in zero division error and what this zero division error is is we're declaring hey if this specific type of error comes out of the uh, try area then this is how we're going to be handling it so this is a way of declaring specifically what type of error you're looking for otherwise if you leave it blank it'll just catch all the errors type in enter print 
will not see this, end quote, and then we're going to backspace and type in finally, colon, enter, print, space, the final word, end quote, enter, enter. And so we see the final word is print, printed first, and then the real error it comes afterwards. Great. And so finally is used for doing any last uh, end stuff if you needed to debugging stuff would go great right here and finally. Um, and then the actual error would be returned right here. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Great job in keeping up today. Uh, definitely take a few minutes to investigate these final examples um, as they really have thought provoking concepts within them. Um, they go over a lot of the topics that we went over. Also, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another episode as I crank them out. And thank you so much for your support and keep the dream alive. Mm -hmm.